Hello and welcome. Today I'm in the tier 10 Japanese carrier, the Hakuryo. And this is actually a pretty nice match because I played the tier 10 carrier and I did not get annoyed by it. Which is surprising. Anyways, uh, I obviously launched my torpedo bombers first, dive bombers second, and then fighters because I don't know where the enemies are. So launching anything else first is not the best idea, although... Uh, I guess you could launch a dive bombers first for scouting, but... Um, it's not that important because I know more or less where they are and it's not like um, the initial information is that important. I'm gonna try to use my fighters to intercept his attacks so that first of all he can't kill me and uh, second of all so if he doesn't go for me it protects my team. We're under attack. Group five. And obviously I want to do a strike on um, you know battleships, cruisers or destroyers with torpedo bombs. Actually destroyers are a really good idea in domination mode. But uh, this isn't domination, so striking battleships is fine. You know, mostly I want the flooding. It wasn't a very good drop because uh, enemy cruisers use the anti-air ability. But I did get the flooding, so that's good enough. So I can set the tidbits on fire now. And I will try to run interference on the drops on the um, uh, destroyer. Although, to be honest, I think I've learned to play um, carriers quite a bit better now. But, um, I mean, compared to this one. But the, inter the important thing is to uh, lock the fighters, I mean, uh, dive bombers, so that they wouldn't actually be able to do a strike on the destroyer. Anyways, um, now that the uh, attack on the destroyer has been warded off, more or less, it's time to try to... Um, oh, I didn't actually get the strike on the tidbits done yet. Damn. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess I have to run into an anti-air fest now, which is uh, quite sad, although luckily for me they are all lower tier ships, but still, there's so many of them, my planes are not very happy with it, I only got one fire, oh well. Luckily the enemy carrier did not strafe them, otherwise they would have all been wiped out instantly. Also, he has two fighters on uh, US carriers, so this means that, um, well, I can't exactly go and um, fight his fighters on par, since he literally has uh, four more of them. But I do have way more strike power, so I will just try to use that. On top of that, because of uh, my anti-air spec on the Hakuryu, uh, well, I think I am going to be able to essentially just uh, defend any attack on me because, um, well, my anti air is so powerful because of the way Hakurius can be specced nowadays. So, I think things are fine. The only thing is that I can't contest his fighters head on. I need it to be in um, an environment that's useful for me. Like right now I do want to engage his fighters because I don't want them to engage my torpedo bombers. I pulled the torpedo bombers to the side like that because I was afraid that he was going to actually strafe them. So I tried to pull them around and strafe his fighters while not strafing my torpedo bombers. Sometimes it's possible but not every time. Right now what actually he should be doing is setting up a strafing with one of the fighters and that would have you know, finished the job, but it appears that he actually ran out of ammunition and this essentially enabled me to keep going. Wow, I think he played really that really poorly. First of all, he just let me strafe them. He did not strafe him himself and uh, he didn't manage his ammunition on his fighters properly. Oh well, good for me I guess, because I can now try to drop on one of the DDs, because the DDs are really annoying for my team. Although, you know, just sailing or flying my planes the way I am here is good enough because I spotted the Kagara torpedoes and I think I'm gonna hurt this Shimakaza really, really hard. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna make her hide underwater. She is so scared of me that she is uh, going to hide. I'll use my dive bombers to get some RNG drops on the Kagara, although I think they are very unlikely to deal any significant damage, as you can see. Because uh, the main strength of Japanese dive bombers is uh, manual drop. 
I decided to try to manual drop on the Kagaro inside smoke, but let's be honest, I uh, completely whiffed that one. Even if the Kagaro had not moved, I actually clicked on the wrong position. Although this isn't something I noticed at the time when playing, but this is what I noticed when I looked at the video recording of this. I definitely did not drop in the right place. Usually what destroyers like to do is uh, they smoke, they slow down and they stop. So uh, if you remember the spot exactly where the destroyer was, you could actually die bomb them pretty nicely. But um, I remembered wrong, so nothing happened. But I did take out their Shimakaza, which was the big annoyance to our uh, big ships, I think. Oh yeah, by the way, I'll be in Poland in the World of Tanks event. You guys should check it out. We are doing a World of Warship show match. So I hope um, some of you will watch it. And if you are in Poland at the event, then come say hi. Anyways, now I'll try to drop on one of the battleships again. Um, I think that one battleship over at... Um, E3 is a good target because she appears to be alone. Oh, it's Yamato too. That's even better then. Okay, so um, I'm gonna... Especially because the Yamato is in a position that she can't really do all that much about it. Because she can't really move away due to, um, you know, the spot she is at. Although, actually, to be honest, oh, never mind, fight this. I knew it was too good to be true. I mean, th this is definitely a spot that the enemy carrier needs to cover. But, uh, I mean, I also have fighters, so I can just lock the enemy fighters or strafe them or, you know, essentially make them have to fight my fighters so that I can do the torpedo bomber drop. I just need to make sure that I actually get the torpedo bomber drop off if I uh, do this stuff. Wow. this Actually, this was a decent strafe. But it could have been way better. That was actually a Hakuryo. I think that um, these two actions would take out like all of his fighters. I whiffed this torpedo bombing. I mean, fighter strafe. But um, because it made his fighters uh, essentially be busy. I guess I'll go drop on the Tirpitz then, who I might actually be able to finish- Oh wait, never mind, there's Cruiser here, so maybe not. I don't know, I, I don't know if that drop is actually far enough. That might be a bit too close. Nope, far enough. Excellent, excellent. Goodbye, Tirpitz. It's unfortunate I couldn't uh, torpedo strike the Yamato, but I guess I'll just follow up with Time Bombers because uh, the Yamato did get torpedoed because um, she got face first, uh, face first experience with a destroyer, and um, she was shelled by some cruisers, I think. So I, I think that uh, she doesn't have damage control party available. So I just follow up with dive bombers for um, fires, many fires. I would actually like it if the enemy carrier attacked with his fighters because uh, that would essentially just use up ammo oh my fucking god <sighs> cruises literally ruin everything even though i still got three hits but no fires unfortunate i i imagine that um the mine that the mine is really happy right now because she definitely saved that yamato's skin or hull i guess I think my ship's position is fine right now, like if I don't move at all. Because of the strong anti-air, they could only attack uh, from the other side, which means that they would have to do lots of maneuvering around me before they could uh, drop. And this essentially would keep me completely safe. And uh, I don't really see why I should be afraid of enemy ships, although if we're honest, then the Yamato and Des Moines pushing in could potentially lead to a problem, but I mean, I, I have like an Iowa here and uh, some cruiser and another battleship, so I think I should be fine. 
Especially if they actually take out the Des Moines, then I can just, you know, drop on the Yamato freely. <laughs> or, actually, since the Des Moines used his anti air ability, I could just drop on the Des Moines. Hmm, that's a good idea. Let's do that. I split my fighters to... Well, one of them are there to check out whether there are any ships I might have missed coming in. And the other side is to spot for DDs and essentially be cover for my torpedo bombers. So that if his fighters do come around, I can just engage with my fighters and po potentially keep my torpedo bombers alive. Okay, so it seems there is no other ship on the other side, only the carrier, so... Um, okay, that North Cal is not worth attacking, since she has uh, no HP. I want to hit that Des Moines, just to pay him back, because he doesn't have the anti air ability, so... I um, think it would be a good time to try to take her out. Although she is dodging pretty nicely, and um, this anti air is uh, a bit annoying, because, you know, it's an anti air cruiser. I think I should hit a few of these, so should be good enough. Damn! Those three passed right in front of the ship. Oh well, I guess I have to do a follow-up with time bombers then. That should be okay too. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I, I ran into uh, some uh, anti-air with my um, fighters, uh, and they vanished immediately. But the, the Yamato is actually rather alone. <clears throat> Somebody took out the Des Moines, so at this point it is rather important to start uh, whittling down the Yamato because, um, you know, the position I'm in, once I am um, not protected by the island anymore, then I will promptly die. So I definitely need to, oh my god, fight this again. <sighs> but, oh my god, and I whiffed that dive, I could have done the dive bomber attack, but I messed up so bad but two hits again and no fires again that's really surprising yeah i don't understand why we're not actually capping right now i mean i, I can understand that there's a cruiser going in but uh, we also have a cruiser around and a battleship that could help the dd but it seems the dd really really wants to kill the carrier instead of um, you know doing anything else. I understand that contesting with the DD is difficult because of what the enemy carrier is doing, but uh, I mean, contesting with the cruiser is difficult as a DD because of what the enemy carrier is doing, but then again, you have smoke screens for exactly that reason. Oh my god, and they didn't even get to do dive bombing on this uh, Yamato properly. I don't understand why they started doing these circles again this time. But regardless, the Yamato is dealt with, so I think that uh, should be really no problem. Oh, yeah, never mind. I didn't actually notice how many ships there were around me. Never mind. There's absolutely no way that they're gonna kill me. Like, yes, that guy could fire at me in like 10 minutes. Okay, that's an exagger exaggeration, but still, he could once fire at me once he gets around the corner, but when he does that, he has to contest all these battleships and the cruiser. Not to mention, I also have time bombers incoming, so I think this guy is gonna rip in peace. And yes, I did just say rest in peace in peace. If you don't understand the joke, then uh, you should uh, go play some Path of Exile. It's pretty good. Oh my god, it's a Kutuzov. Fuck. <sighs> Kutuzovs are annoying to attack, although I am in a tier 10 carrier, so oh my god, <laughs> he got destroyed! Okay, I guess it's time to go strike either the cruiser or the carrier, I'm not sure which one. And <laughs> holy shit, that destroyer got uh, killed by the midway secondaries. Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> The sad part is I am actually out of planes other than torpedo bombers, which is a which is the good part, but um, I think this midway is done for. I mean the DD definitely did kill him, but um but still it doesn't matter what the circumstances are when you die to secondaries as a DD. It 
especially on a carry, it's, it's, it's still embarrassing. Because most people will not see your circumstances, so... Anyways, uh, he did take out the midway though, so I think it's fine, but uh, it's, it's just funny. Okay, so there's uh, just this cruiser left and the DD. I don't know where the DD actually is. I have a guess, more or less, but I'm not sure. Because it's a cruiser and there isn't all that much time left, I'll just do a drop and hopefully have my allies finish him off. I mean, I did do a 3 hit, so it's 19,000 damage, and now I will pl bring planes over to the DT, more or less. To keep him spotted, hopefully allies will take out this uh, Ibuki, and they did, and uh, now it's just to finish that one DD. Also, um, I'm actually rather anxious at this moment when I'm making this video, because um, um, I'm cutting it rather close on uh, time, when I have to leave. And I do this like all the time, and I don't like it. I can't help myself. <sighs> There's some arguments going on in chat. While we wait for this DD to stop wasting our time, because he is going to die, and uh, he is not going to kill anything else, and the smoke will disappear, so I don't like what he's doing, because it's just wasting our time. I could understand if there was like um, 1 minute 30 seconds left when he used the smoke, but it wasn't. The smoke will disappear before. And uh, DD is visible again, so I'll just keep him spotted. And I mean, he has like one, two, three, four, five ships that are capable of shooting at him. No, make that six ships. And uh, my torpedo bombers are also coming in soon, so he's very dead. And he just wasted our time. It's okay though. I mean, if I were in his position, I think I would do the same because. What if you do manage to somehow pull out the trick from your hat? Like, either kill someone or... Oh my god, he survived! Okay, I guess I have to take back everything I said. The Kagero definitely did the right thing because... Uh, he survived. He saved some money with that. Oh well, so this was the game. 8900 experience, 2000 base experience, which is good enough, I think. In a carry anyway. <clears throat> a bit more than our Yamato, although she sank way more ships. Um, the mines are annoying. The mines are annoying, but uh, look at that, the mine, compared to our New Orleans. New Orleans! New Orleans doing as well as the Domine. Actually better, because uh, in terms of plane shutdown it's the same, but in other things it's better. Damage isn't all that much for a tier 10 carry, 137k or so. So anyways, come check out the stream in Poland and uh, if you enjoyed this video then please subscribe and thanks for watching.